Welcome, this is Solopreneur Success Strategies, where we talk about mindset, your website, your brand, your social media marketing, your customers, how to sell to your customers, how to, how to find your customers, how to talk about the skills and knowledge you need in your business, and free software and tools to help you save time, money, and be more productive, as well as strategy and systems, here on Solopreneur Success Strategies. Welcome. Welcome, this is Jane Gardner, and welcome to Solopreneur Success Strategies, and welcome to Mindset Monday. Today, we're going to be talking about the willingness to learn, part two, on Mindset Monday. And for those of you who don't know, I'm Jane Gardner. I work with my husband for the last 20 years in our structural engineering uh, office, home-based in Western Canada there, and we have pets, dogs, and cats. We travel, and I'm an artist, and I have several websites, including jane-gardner.com. So let's get started. I know that we've um, had a few uh, sessions when uh, for Mindset of the Entrepreneur, and we're continuing on here with the Mindset of the Entrepreneur. So let's have a look at uh, what we've been looking at. We had several episodes on the positive attitude of the Mindset of the Entrepreneur, um, having passion, for the entrepreneur um, being an action taker we did like five episodes on that Um, embracing change always being willing to change Uh, determination and persistence uh, being willing to take failure as feedback and also of course the very important the big picture the why why are you being an entrepreneur and who you doing it for and we have looked at patience um, being willing to be patient as an entrepreneur to see how things go And uh, now we're talking about the willingness to learn. Last week, we talked about overall the willingness to learn. And of course, for Mindset Monday, we have to always be good for mindset in terms of being an entrepreneur in order to have the um, strength to overcome the stress and challenges of being an entrepreneur. So let's go get started on looking at the willingness to learn. Uh, It if you know me, you know that I always like to say that imperfect action is better than no action. And of course, I mentioned what we've already looked at, the positive attitude, passion, action taking, embracing a change, being persistent, taking failure as feedback, knowing your big why and having patience. These are all the traits of an entrepreneur. And today we're going to be looking at uh, the being willing to learn and being open to learning every day. Because the internet is always changing, it changes very quickly, companies come and go, Uh, Facebook changes its logarithm, Google changes its search, the tactics that work today could be gone tomorrow. So it's better to learn strategies rather than tactics when you're an entrepreneur because they last this test of time. And today you have to be open to being able to learn new skills and knowledge as the internet changes so quickly, we need to be able to adapt. So wisdom without education is like silver in the mine, says Benjamin Franklin, and I would agree. If you study any successful entrepreneur, they use all of their life experiences to learn from. They take that learning and apply it to what they are working on at the moment, They never stop learning even when they attain their dreams. Uh, Right now, I'm taking a course on pay-per-click. And yes, I had to think about it because I know nothing about pay-per-click. So I decided I have to learn about pay-per-click. So that's what I'm focusing on at the moment. So being a successful learner is all about being open, uh, paying attention to everything around you, and putting what you learn into action. So there are some barriers to having being successful uh, learning as an entrepreneur. Um, Sometimes there can be no clear plan for what you're going to do with your learning. You have too much to learn, so you go into overwhelm. You have distractions of everyday business that you um, get distracted and lose your focus and go off in different directions. Maybe start two or three courses rather than one learning. Fear of failure and fear of success. So let's have a look at no clear plan. 
So if you have no clear plan as to what your learning will be for the year and how you will adapt to what happens with the Internet, you um, can get distracted and lose your focus. So you have to make some learning goals. You have to write down a goal for what you want to learn, maybe what you've come across that you don't understand and you want to learn about it, and then most importantly, why are you going to learn it and why is it good for your business? So you have to be specific on your goal in terms of the time it takes to get done and also, of course, why you're doing it and how it will help you in your business. It's no good going and doing a course on flower arranging if it's not going to help you in your business. So always give yourself positive feedback when you get it done. And, of course, try and make it um, a very simple goal. Uh, you don't want to have too many um, learning goals while you're trying to do your business, which comes to too much overwhelm. So if you're getting distracted and realizing all these things that you have to learn as an entrepreneur and getting into overwhelm, you have to decide on focusing on one thing at a time and building your learning by starting with the beginning and then add on more learning about something and get more knowledge about something as you go on. So start with the um, intermediate uh, learning on an idea and then go on to the advanced. Do not try to do all of it at once. Because remember, your brain needs to absorb and keep the learning, so it needs a block of learning at a time. It doesn't need you getting all of the learning at once because it certainly won't remember it all. And, of course, there's always distractions. There's always things to do. There's always things to do in your business. And there's always so many things to learn. So you try to block out what you don't need to know at this time and get on with what you need to know right away. So, for example, I want to do some advertising. So I thought I'd better learn about pay-per-click in terms of ad advertising as well as Google AdWords because both of those seem like foreign languages to me. And so I thought I would learn a little bit of enough about them so that I can actually try and use the ads. So try to focus on one thing at a time and shut out the noise, the TV, the internet, the phone, and focus on your learning time. <clears throat> Define times for learning and times for your work, of course, and times for not working time. <clears throat> Maybe add an hour per week or an hour per day or half an hour per day uh, for five days a week learning something new and then just go on with the rest of your work as you finish. Another uh, reason there can be problems with learning is the fear of failure. You may be scared to act for fear of failing and then recognize, so you need to recognize that fear and remove that fear of failure. Um, because you want to be able to move forward in your business, you need to be able to uh, learn without the distractions of having a fear. So failure is good if you look at it as being a good thing because it teaches you a lesson. You fail, you survive, and you take away from it a valuable lesson to learn from. So erase the word failure from your vocabulary and replace it with lesson to have a success mindset. This will help you to be more open to ideas and doing things that may be foreign to you and make you worried about the fear of failure. If you don't use the word failure, um, that really helps to give you a success mindset. Also, you can maybe have the fear of success. Recognize that you may have a deep-seated belief that you don't deserve success, maybe from your upbringing or from the culture and that you feel that you're not worthy of success, so recognize that and remove it from your success mindset. Recognize that if you work hard, you deserve the fruits of your labor. As you work towards your goals, you will feel more comfortable seeing, your success, seeing yourself, of course, as successful because you're moving forward and gaining on your goals. So know you're going to make it. Having a success mindset involves losing the things that are holding you back. So lose the fear of failure, lose, lose the fear of um, success, and get yourself focused and put some structure into your learning so that you have a certain time when you do learn 
and focus on only one block of learning at a time rather than taking two or three courses. And this will hopefully help you to have a mindset for success. Moving forward with your learning and taking action. So that's part two for um, the willing to learn. I actually have a part three. But for today, I'm going to say don't stop, stop feeling self, stop not feeling self confident. Fake your self confident. Pretend to be self confident and it will become the reality, especially as you learn new things in your business and move forward. So just fake it till you make it. Oh, I'll have to write that down, but I think I've heard it before. <laughs> just fake it till you make it and be confident. I have a free workbook from learning to business success at http colon backslash backslash jgtips.com backslash learn to help you focus on your priorities when you're learning and going towards your success. Because once you're able to train yourself to focus and realize that there are certain things that you do need to learn as you go forward and not be frightened of learn the learning, then you will be a success. That's at jgtips.com backslash learn. And if you want to develop your success mindset, it is at jgtips.com backslash s mindset. It's another free book. You can have some uh, tips and some trainings in there to have a success mindset if you feel that you need some boosting when you're being an entrepreneur. And you can also subscribe to Solopreneur Success Strategies channel at jgtips.com backslash YouTube and look at some of the previous um, episodes of the Mindset of the Entrepreneur. So that is going to be it for today. We're going to did another section on being willing to learn. And believe it or not, I think there's another, a third section on ways that you can be willing to learn and be a success in your business such that the learning will will. Uh, move you towards business success. So this is Jane Gardner, and I'll see you next Monday on Solopreneur Success Strategies. See you then. Thank you for listening. This has been Jane Gardner at Solopreneur Success Strategies. Please go and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs. And also to find out about other programs as well over at jgtips.com slash programs. And over there we have a free uh, mindset magazine for you to check out at jgtips.com backslash mindset offer. So welcome. Thanks for listening. And I hope to see you again here tomorrow as this is a seven day a week show on mindset your customer, getting your message out on social media and on your website, talking about strategies, talking about business systems, talking about all kinds of things, including the skills you need as a solopreneur. So please come back and subscribe at jgtips.com backslash programs. Thank you.